For some reason, there are literally dozens of ways to play this one game, surfing, forgotten CSGO, Roblox, even Halo, terrible, and one of them is completely broken. And this is why these games stand out from the rest, so you can make an informed decision on where to play for yourself. Well, number one, this is where you play if your computer is old enough to be in middle school. But before that, I should tell you the story. According to scholars, Reddit people, this is the first Counter-Strike game to feature surfing. Marion creates the first surf map in 2004, and the rest is history. But that also means it looks like hot doo-doo because it's from 2004. But the major upside of this is that you can play it on practically anything, even mobile, yes really. But what isn't sacrificed is the gameplay, because for whatever reason, movement hasn't changed that much since the first CS, and the surf feels really good despite being 20 years old, to the point where it is basically on par with the other titles. But what you might not know is that competition on this game has basically never stopped for decades. The original Counter-Strike has a serious and committed community, speedrun.eu is a good one, and if you choose to surf here forever, surprisingly, you're not missing out on much. With multiple surfers, a dedicated surf timer, and hundreds of maps, the only difference is the bunny hopping. In all other titles, you can hold space while on flat surfaces to jump high, but in CS 1.6, this mechanic is totally different and faster. But the original CS was quickly succeeded by this title. For many surfers, this is the creme de la creme, and if you've surfed at all, you probably know why. First is because of a specific server called KSF. KSF is like the NFL of surf, except anyone can get on the field and start playing, but basically every talented surfer has surfed on KSF at one point. It's where everyone graduates to when they leave other platforms. As a consequence, KSF is where most of the competition in surf occurs. Almost every notable world record, historical event, and tournament in surf has happened here. But the second reason people play CSS Source is the feeling. There is a wide consensus that Source is the smoothest, most satisfying movement engine in surfing. And it's kind of hard to visualize this, but it's easy to see this in the quality of world records. People are willing to spend tens of thousands of hours here because they actually enjoy it. It feels good to play and win. The only problem is server space. If you want to play KSF, you just go to this website link below and click a server. But if you want access to the other ones, you need VIP or access to a private server which is why many are gravitating towards this platform. Now, CSGO is the most interesting platform because right now it doesn't exist for most players. Months ago, Valve moved CSGO to a beta branch of CS2, which means barely anyone has it downloaded. And then a month ago, they soft lock users out with a warning message, one that you can hack through by clicking more info and then closing the Steam overlay. And the result is hundreds of empty surf servers, which is sad, but also means that they are free to use. If you've ever wanted to try a specific map or explore new ones at your own pace, this is the time. On the other hand, CSGO Surf is now a series of disparate communities with very few players. Although some like Surf Heaven still have a decent amount, it's likely that this space will never recover, unless Valve reopens the game on the Steam market, especially if advertised as a community space, which would be awesome. And it's not hard at all to find servers. Game Tracker still works, as well as the websites for major servers from CSGO. Heck, even I have a private server still running there. But if you're really having trouble, join my Discord and look through this channel at the top. And to understand why people still play this ancient title, we have to look at this. Now unfortunately, CS2 is broken in a bunch of different ways, has barely any maps, and despite this, appears to be the single biggest game for Surf. So firstly, CS2 has this glitch called a ramp bug that stops you randomly, but this has actually been somewhat fixed by a plugin called Ramp Fix. Does it work perfectly and is pretty terrible on ping? But this isn't the only problem. There is something else that people are now noticing. At high speeds, CS2 appears to jitter and lag in a really unsatisfying satisfying way, which sucks because in surf you are always going fast. However, on some maps this doesn't appear to be as prevalent, and I don't remember this happening when CS2 released. But on top of this, CS2 is still missing many of the major plugins, and features present in the older titles. Now why is CS2 still so popular? Regardless of where you look, hundreds of players still surf there. Well, the answer is simple. It's connected to a giant pool of millions of players, and all the other titles are only connected by franchise, not functionally connected to the game. 
and CS2 likely picked up most of those CSGO surfers when the ladder was hidden. However, in the future, the major upside of CS2 is likely to be the graphics. Compatibility with tools like Unreal and other modeling programs will not only improve aesthetics, but make mapping easier. Just within the last year, a bunch of unique and beautiful maps have been made, alongside amazing recreations in the new engine, if your computer can run it. And if it can't, you might actually enjoy this surprising final game, Roblox. Now, Roblox isn't known for quality remakes, which is why it might surprise you that I'm recommending it. If you like surfing, you should try R-Surf at least once, because it is hilarious how well this engine works and feels. For some reason, R-Surf clears every other recreation of surf, specifically how it captures a core mechanic in surf called ramping, the only way you can get from the beginning to the end of the map, and has a very particular feeling. R-Surf and B-Hop are both created by a developer named Quaternions, who still updates the game to this very day, and for literally millions of players, this was their first exposure to surfing. If you decide to play it, I recommend using a launcher like Blockstrap, and don't get it confused with Surf Race Skibbity Toilet. So as you might have noticed, Surf is a very fractured game, and even more so for consumers, you guys, who are understandably confused, and also suffering from a bit of choice paralysis. When presented with multiple options and no clear answer, you might choose no option. This is explained by a theory called Hicks Law, that more options take longer to analyze, and just by virtue of that, risk losing the customer. Having many good games doesn't make for an easy decision, and also means there's no true central hub where everyone goes to play that is the starting point for a community. So. What is the final verdict? What game should you play based on who you are? Well, if you're looking to get serious about surfing in any official capacity, your main choice is KSF. You are way more likely to run into experienced surfers to watch who can give you advice or others who are on the same path to surf stardom. On the other hand, if you don't care about competition, I'd recommend CSGO or even Roblox because right now these titles are completely free and have tons of open space. So why, for any reason, would you want to surf in CS2? The answer is content, but for a good reason. Because CS2 is attached to a large player base and interest is high, any videos, live streams, and content will simply perform better when they focus on CS2 surf. There are channels that just post gameplay, walking through workshop maps, and are getting thousands of views. Heck, just a few weeks ago, a guy started uploading regular old surf runs and is crushing it with good thumbnails. This is due in part to the insanity that is the Source 2 engine that will allow for some of the most graphically impressive creations we've ever seen in Counter-Strike, but the other reason is people. Surf in CSGO was always a social place where you'd hop in between matches or late at night for some funny stuff, and CS2 imported at least some of that, remaining a social hub for hundreds of players, just like many of the other platforms we've covered. Now there are tons of other communities for your taste. TF2, Gmod, Fragsurf, that's Surf with Combat, Guns, Momentum Mod that's freaking amazing but still in development, even standalones like Hoverflow, great for new players. Just remember that wherever you are, you're still sliding on triangles. Okay, you like this? I tried every single surf gate ever made in three episodes. Check out the first one and binge watch it here. Right now, click now, click, 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 click it now. OMG, click at that, look at that. I'm on his head, look at that. Good way. Okay, bye, bye, bye.